Ahaz was not a good king. When he ruled over Judah, he did not do what was right. Ahaz made sacrifices and offerings to idols. Idols are people and things that are worshipped but are not the one true God. During Ahaz's time as king, two other kings, the king of Israel and the king of Aram, agreed to protect each other in battles. King Ahaz gave silver and gold to the king of Assyria. Assyria was a strong nation, and the king of Assyria agreed to protect Judah. One day, Ahaz heard that the king of Israel and Aram were coming to Judah. Their armies were going to attack Jerusalem. Ahaz was afraid. Everyone in Judah was afraid. But Ahaz didn't need to be afraid. He should have trusted God. God had promised his ancestor, King David, that he would be with his people. God sent the prophet Isaiah to talk to Ahaz. Isaiah said, pay attention and be quiet. Trust God. Be confident that God will take care of you. God had good news for Ahaz. The kings of Israel and Syria are planning to attack Jerusalem and make someone else king. But this won't happen, God said. If you do not trust me, you will not last. Isaiah said to Ahaz, listen, God is going to give you a sign to prove he is telling the truth. Here is the sign. A virgin will have a baby. She will name the baby Emmanuel. Isaiah told Ahaz that very soon the kings of Israel and Syria would not be a threat to Judah. But, Isaiah continued, God's judgment is coming. He is going to judge you and the people of Judah. You have not seen judgment like this since Solomon's kingdom was divided into Israel and Judah. The king of Assyria and his strong army is coming to attack. On that day, God will send enemy armies to Judah. The Assyrians will come from the north, and the Egyptians will come from the south. They will be everywhere like flies and bees, Isaiah said. You won't be able to escape. God is present with us. He sent prophets to his people, even in captivity, and promised to send Emmanuel, which means God with us. Jesus fulfilled this promise when he came to earth and was born of a virgin. Jesus is our Emmanuel, God with us.